and although I'm not in Annapolis enough, so don't hold me responsible for where we are. Um, I will say that we do pour a lot of money into our schools uh, in the state of Maryland and in Prince George's County. Uh, so money, I don't think, is necessarily the issue. We do have to reduce classroom sizes. We do have to enhance the relationship between the teachers, the parents, and the students. We have to engage all three and make sure that they're working together uh, synergistically to get the to get our test scores up, to make our classrooms more uh, advantageous for learning, so we can have better students who come out the back end after uh, their 12th grade. Uh, if we, one of the things we definitely need to do is to enhance our vocational technical training in in the state and especially in Prince George's County. Uh, not everybody's going to be going to college and is going to be uh, college bound. However. Uh, if we can prepare people for jobs, and some of the, there's some great jobs out there that get vocational te technical training through the high schools, um, as well as uh, uh, preparing those for, for college. So it's a matter of getting our teachers, our students, uh, and parents working together in order to enhance our schools and make our, our school system better. We have put more money in education in the last 10, 15 years than any other jurisdiction in the state. Now let me give you an example. Uh, years ago, uh, there was we were building like how many schools we building? Like two or three schools over a ten-year period. We put in some brand new schools in the last few years. In the last ten years, we have really moved a long way, and our children have really benefited from the funds that we have been able to get. The Thornton Commission, the Thornton Commission, everybody's heard of the Thornton Commission, came from Prince George's County. Mr. Thornton was Prince George's County. Those funds have continually been put into the program statewide as a result of the, the uh, uh, study that was done under the Thornton Commission. And uh, we, we are very proud of, of what we have been able to do to help the children as far as education. And uh, I think you can see it in the young people that are graduating today. Today, graduates, the day, today's graduates, Take my word for it. Their stock is up. Their stock is up. The Dow Jones may be down, but their stock is up with the children that I'm seeing coming out of these high schools. Is there a follow-up question here? Are there any current plans to have any of those funds trickle down to this to the southern area? I mean, you say you're you know, representing uh, this district yeah, 27A, sure. but well, if you take a look at yeah. this school right here, it does not appear that we are being properly funded. And first of all, you must give children an atmosphere conducive to learning, and this one does is falling short of that. And this is not the only school in this area that falls short of giving students uh, a school that they can be proud of and a school that is conducive to learning. Okay. I know that we have seen it in other areas, Wise, yeah. Upper Market, yeah, Eleanor Wise Road, 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 all the way down that way, but nothing is happening here. Clinton Grove with all those trailers to Rackville High School and other schools in this area are not realizing the, the things that you're saying here in regards to uh, school improvement. Okay, now, let me get a chance to respond to my when, when A few years ago, this school did not have air conditioning. Do you remember that? It has it now. We did the windows on this place. We put a new roof on this particular building. There was a new roof put on this building. The windows were put in. The air conditioning been put in. No, it's not a new building. But we do have a brand new school in Wise, and that's in our district. In addition to that, there is a new school coming online that we're working on. Tell your pockets, I'll tell you which one it is. <laughs> which one? Well, Henry, Henry, Henry Ferguson has um, stepped up through the um, construction process. And I want to tell you how that was done. Okay? We lobbied. And that's what we all are when we are going for an effort. You know, you talk about the lobbyists in Congress and so forth. We're not that type. We're the everyday type of, of, of lobbyists like you are when you're just doing what you're doing right now, advocating for better schools. Last year, we, the um, PTA, citizens in Akaki, that's where I live, in Akaki, were uh, pushing for a new school, Henry Ferguson. Of all the schools,
hospitals in the county, that one was number one in need of repair, as identified by the school system. We went to Senator Miller, Delegate Valerio, myself, and the board members, uh, sorry, PTA members, and citizen associations in the Akinkeed area and said, you have deemed uh, Finley Ferguson is the number one school in need of replacement. Not repair, not renovation, but replacement. They thumb their nose at us. You know, when I was a principal, I used to break up fights or get into between arguments with kids, and I said, what happened? Well, Mr. Proctor, he dissed me. Well, that's what those folks did to us in South County. They dissed us because they refused to put uh, our schools and, and a higher priority for school reconstruction or maintenance or anything else. So we met with the state superintendent of schools. She agreed with us. She wrote to our Board of Education members and told them that according to their study, Henry Ferguson should be replaced. They added it to the CIP, Capital Improvement Plan, but they put it down as number 34 on the list. I worked for Prince George's County Public Schools for 32 years. And I know when you put something number 34 on a capital improvement list, it's not going anywhere. You're lucky if number 10 goes someplace as far as funding is concerned. So they dissed us. They dissed the South County. They dissed our area because we were also complaining about uh, Clinton Road. We were complaining about this school. We were talking about the needs of Gwen Park. We got the county executive to put extra money in his budget to help improve the, the conditions of our school because we were working on all the schools of South County. When the funding did not take place as we knew it was, not going to as number 34, the uh, school board had a big plan. And all of you wrote, read about this in the paper. The school board said, we're going to buy this building over here on Pennsylvania Avenue. They were going to improve, you know, get nice offices for all board members and a lot of other things over this building. They were going to spend $42 million to buy that building. $42 million would have bought, for school construction, especially with state money, at least three middle schools in South County and four uh, uh, elementary schools in South County, along with the state money that's put into it. But yet, they wanted to put $42 million of county money into that building. So we said, we object to that going into that building. And they said, well, who do you think you are? So we showed. We put an addition, an amendment into the budget that said, if you spend this $42 million or any money toward that building over there, it will be taken out of the administration, the school board salaries, the uh, uh, superintendent salaries, and all the other administrators. You do it, you put that money in there, and that like amount will be withdrawn from your budget. They got the message, they canceled the deal, we're getting Henry Ferguson, okay? We're also getting the uh, improvements starting on with, with Clinton Grove will be in, in the next year's budget. We also have a, a school that's been on, on the books for at least seven years, right behind the library. We're going to be getting that. That's because we worked for that. You know, I told you before, I'm an educator. I'm the educator for this team. And we watched that. I have up here, it's not campaign material. This is what I give out at all our civic association meetings. There are two stacks over there. One stack is what we did in the legislature for this past session. That's the highest stack over there. But equally important is what we did as far as funding is concerned for Prince George's County. That's in the other stack. I didn't put it on the campaign table because that's not campaign material. You will not see 27th District. You will not see Senator Miller, Valerio, or Proctor's name anywhere on that. This is what your state legislature did. And it also gives all the funding. We have increased funding for our schools, and it does, does take money. That's not the only thing I agree with, but it does take money, okay? So I know Mary's giving us the time, but you, you just got into a passion side. I defy anybody to say that we haven't contributed to the educational process of our children in this, in this, in this district, the 27th district.